January 1st, 2022. What a year 2021 was. Uh, I mean, yeah, still in the pandemic. We all know this, so I'm not even going to go there. But, uh, um, you know, here at ExoCaged RC, broke 43,000 subscribers. That's you. That is you watching right now. Um, I can't do this without you guys. You know, you guys supporting the channel, you guys using the links in the description, um, being able to chat back and forth with you guys. Um, things like Thor came to life right here. You know, this thing right here, my other projects, um, this right here, the Arma Typhon. I've got the, uh, the new uh, Power Hobby rooster tires on this. If I can spit that out, I've got that to go record soon. Um, lots of things came to life. SV2 came around. Uh, we picked up the Axial SCX6. You know, when I first saw that, I was like, eh, why? Why would anybody want something like that? You know, but my God, the thing is just awesome. Um, if you're hearing that in the background, it is literally um, the 31st of December. So, and I believe it's about 1110 right now as I'm recording this. So, yeah, we've got fireworks going on. Um, and I really wanted to make this video to kind of end 2021 and bring in 2022. Um, uh, but, yeah, um, the growth of the channel is just amazing. It's beyond what I expected. And... Like I said, it's beyond what I expected because of you, because of you guys. Um, you guys make the channel. I just put up videos, you know, so thank you guys again for all that. Um, I got channel members, uh, you know, uh, that's a direct support way to go um, for all the channel members. You know, thank you guys for supporting me directly like that. Um, the things that I show here. Um, there's a revenue that I get from YouTube and the affiliates. If it wasn't for that revenue, I would not be able to show the things that I show you guys. I mean, I'm a dealer for Vitavon, so yeah, my prices are a little less, but you know, most everything else is either at or close to retail. Do I get deals? Yes, but you know, um, I cannot do it without the income streams. Um, it's just not possible. And you guys help support that. So, you know, I'm here because of you. I really am. Um, I wanna go over um, a few notable projects, um, a, new, a few uh, notable releases, and kinda chat about those for a few minutes. In the crawler world, one of the most amazing things that I got to test and I got to make videos on and show you guys um, was from Three Brothers RC, and that was the anti-foams right here. This is the dual stage one right here. Um, these things right here, if you recall my video when I first drove these, within like three feet, it was like, oh my God, the accuracy of the steering, the accuracy, the accuracy. In competition, that's everything. Accuracy is everything. And these right here up that accuracy beyond anything I've had from any other tire foam out there. Um, absolute awesome product. It really is. I want to give a shout out to Vitavon. Um, Vitavon, you know, with me being a dealer, I'm able to get things like I do. And I'm able to resell them to you guys that want these products and all that. So... That's a little bit of an income stream right there, and it helps me show more things. Um, Arthur, I don't know that the guy, I think he sleeps less than I do, um, but he's just cranking out parts after parts after parts, and like this big bulkhead right here for the X-Max, you know, um, it's amazing. I mean, he makes, and he, um, he doesn't, well, let me tell you, Arthur owns his own shop has his own machines, his own employees. Everything is made in-house. Um, and he makes parts for crawlers, 
um, bashers, uh, racers. Uh, he makes parts for fist scales. It's not just one particular little segment that he makes parts for. Everything. He, he's, he probably has a uh, parts number probably close to 500 by now as far as individual parts and pieces. Um, the guy just cranks these things out so fast. And usually, I see the new parts when they're posted on Facebook. I'm like, well, heck, all right. Let me get an order in, you know. But, uh, yeah, I want to give a huge shout out to Arthur saying from Vitavon, man, you're killing it, dude. You're kicking butt. In 2021, we got the Element Ecto. Uh, this was my second Element behind the Trail Runner. And this thing is absolutely phenomenal. And it's got a component in it that I want to tell you guys about that a lot of us are after. And he's having a hard time getting the components. I think he posted he's about ready to get it taken care of. And we're talking about the Holmes Hobbies Crawlmaster Mini ESC. That thing... Has changed everything when it comes to driving with an outrunner motor. It really has. It has changed everything. It's small. It's lightweight. Uh, the new ones that he's working on have bigger fits, uh, more power capability. So, yeah, these right here have changed everything. Um, before these came along, you know, you never saw a revolver or an outrunner of any kind on the channel because it was so screaming. It was worse than Castle this changed that and it has a little bit of a foc control in it so it, the thing just drives uh when you get one of these for the first time and you set it up and you drive it you'll know what i'm talking about when i say it's epic so thank you john holmes for you know busting these things out and getting us a product that really changes everything vanquish popped out the phoenix this year last year 2021 and uh, this thing has got all kinds of features. I love features. I, I, it's just an awesome thing to have the option. It's got selectable overdrive in it. Dig, two-wheel drive. You can go front-wheel drive with it. It's really an amazing vehicle. It really is. The body, you can love it or hate it. Um, I loved it. I'm kind of thinking more towards the lines of changing it out. And if I change this out, I did a video where I put the body from SV2 on it. And this thing was pulling some amazing lines. Uh, this is the ProLine Cliffhanger body, which also came out this year. Awesome. <laughs> awesome competition body. So, yeah, uh, that right there is a phenomenal vehicle. I wasn't expecting it to perform like what it is. And it's got more in it seeing guys on Facebook chopping them up, doing different things with them, taking the transmission out, putting them in other vehicles. Um, Rob Rob Mirsky from uh, DSM, uh, he actually took the transmission and put it in his uh, Wraith 1.9. I'm having to think about that one. But uh, yeah, he put it in his Wraith 1.9. I believe he has a kit that you can buy and bolt it in there. So just awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Vanquish, for putting this thing out. Also, at a semi-affordable price. Yeah, it's not bad on price. Speaking of prices, uh, yeah, the price hike all across RC. And it wasn't just RC. There's a pretty bad inflation problem going on right now in this country. Um, I'll leave it at that. But um, anyway... Not only did we get the price hikes on the kits and things like that, also the good old government figured out how to force taxes on every purchase. Um, all, all, all the big companies like A-Main and all that, every time I buy, bam, tax, tax, tax. Some of the mom and pop smaller places, you can still buy them for the sticker price and get them shipped, but that's becoming few and far in between. So we got hit with higher prices for the vehicles themselves, plus the 7, 8, 9, 10% tax, depending on where you live. So that really jacked the prices on a lot of things. At the end of 2021, Traxxas released the Wide X Max kit. Now, I'm looking on some of the Facebook groups. There's some fanboys of WFO out there that are not happy. You know, my favorite company in the whole world, Vitavon, has a Wide X Max kit. 
I don't have that. I do have the Traxxas one. Why? Plastic arms. With the X Max, you've got to have a way to absorb the hits. And I just don't, me personally, I don't feel the aluminum arms are the way to go. That's why I never had the WFO or the Vitavon kits. Um, this one right here, though, I had to have it. Just had to have it. It had the flex, it had the features I wanted, everything. So um, I just had to go with this one. And yeah, we got the uh, new body. Uh, I've got the new Vitavon gears to motor mount everything in this. You guys will be seeing that one shortly. So, yeah, this right here is uh, up this game quite a bit. Absolutely. I mentioned the SCX6 earlier. This is as it sits as of right now, December 31st. Got the 3.8 power hobby tires, sand tires on this thing. Um, uh, when this thing came out, um, like I said, I wasn't too impressed with it, but I got one and it's just awesome. It's a whole different ball game, you know? Um, Vitavon has been knocking out parts, bam, bang, bang, like you can't believe for this thing. Uh, I've got almost everything here, but not everything. He's still making new parts and pieces for it. Um, so yeah, this thing right here has turned into a monster, monster beast. And it's a lot of fun to drive. I got to tell you, you'll be seeing this video soon with the sand tires on 8S. So uh, make sure you're ready for that one. It's going to be good. Well, I know it's good. The video is already done. Ha <laughs> ha. And it's probably up for channel members already. We're into 2022. I'm going to make a few predictions. Um, I do not have connections in most of these companies, but I am going to make a few predictions. Some of them are obvious. Some of them are uh, well, a little bit far-fetched, but we'll just have to see how it goes. So let's, let's get into those. My first prediction, X-Max. We will see an X-Max V2 in 2022. It will come with all the wide stuff on it. And possibly, because you know the tires have been an issue with the X-Max uh, ever since the 6S. 8S tires came out, they held up a little bit better, but they don't, okay? It wouldn't surprise me if they actually put belted tires from the factory on the X-Max. That might be stretching it a little bit. But I'm pretty sure we will get a wide X-Max. Now, to stretch it even further. Okay, let's go a little bit further with this. Um, we saw the big 5687 size motor in the SCX6. I would, this is a major stretch. I would love to see Traxxas um, do their own version of a Max 6 or maybe even the ESC that they use, but kind of refine it to get a little bit more out of it to handle like a 5687 motor, like what you get the 1100 out of the Hobby Wing, you know, that short can motor. That would be awesome if the V2 would come out with the wide kit, with belted tires, and with an actual fit or real nice size six scale power system. That would be awesome. I'd also like to see some servo options. Uh, the 2085X servo, Although that is in here, I'd like to see something um, a bit more. Faster gears, stronger gears, brushless motor in it. And they should absolutely stop giving you the plastic gear servo with these things. That needs to be gone. It needs to be history. Um, okay, that's one prediction. The Traxxas Max. Awesome little stunt truck. Super, super tough, especially once you beef everything up on it like what I've got. Well, Traxxas has the V2, which is a little bit longer, and it comes with the wide kit. Basically, a wide, longer wheelbase max. It's enough of a difference, in my opinion, that they could have just changed the name and come out with a whole brand new vehicle, you know, but they kept the max name. Um, although they do have the max V2 out right now, once the sales die off, I expect a conversion kit. It'll come with the chassis, um, the body, and the drive shaft to make it all work. Might come with a few other things. Uh, I, I know the uh, the new V2 can handle a bigger battery. So that was kind of one of the things 
some people were complaining about with this one. But yeah, I expect a conversion for all of us guys with the V1 to convert them to the V2 specs. And I believe, and with that conversion and all that, it should, all your components will go over. So any mods you have, like all the Vitavon stuff I have on here, should go right into the new conversion kit. That I'm expecting probably around April. In the world of 24 scales, they do have a strong following. And I've been seeing on Tony's channel, CCXRC, the monster truck one. It looks phenomenal, but right now they're conversions. I do expect sometime in 2022, Axel to actually release a legit truck that you can buy. I kind of got a feeling we're going to see that just because it's awesome. It has the wheel speed. You can jump the thing. It's fun. But that's just a thought on that one. What would I love to see in the RC world for 2022? Not predictions, just things that I would really like to see. So I'm gonna get started on that right now. Number one thing, unless it's a crawler, okay, unless it's a crawler, get rid of 12 millimeter hexes. Let's just put everything to 17 millimeter. You got big brushless power. We're pushing bigger motors, more voltage, and the 12 millimeter hex stuff is at its limits. So let's just get rid of the 12 millimeter stuff and everything bigger, than this, and let's go have some fun. Big stuff. Axial's got the SEX6. It's got the drive line. Okay, it's got the drive line. There is enough room in that axle to put a differential or a slight adjustment to get a differential in there. Why not a big solid axle monster truck from Axial? How awesome would that be? Like a SMT XL. Hey, they did it with a Yeti, right? Yeti XL, SMT XL. How awesome would that be, guys? That would be awesome. On that same topic, a 1.6 scale, using that same driveline, maybe change the transmission a little bit, kind of lighten it up. That's a real heavy transmission setup on there. But lighten it up, a 1.6 scale solid axle rift. Rift XL. <laughs> Oh, I'd be all over that. Man, I'm going to spend a bunch of money in 2022 if these things happen. Oh, boy. Brushless motors. I realize uh, putting motors in that are uncensored is cheaper by a couple cents or so, but that era has passed. Uh, your, brushless your brushless motor vehicles should all be censored at this point. I mean, it can't be more than just a nickel at the most just to convert everything over. So, yeah, brushless motors, they need to be censored from now on. Two more things. Number one, I would love to see Traxxas take the step and get back into racing. As in, come out with a legit e-buggy, an e, e truggy or even the nitro stuff. Um, I would like to see them get back into racing when I was racing back in, I guess it was the early 90s, they had the Traxxas Blue Eagle, you know, and uh, that thing was awesome. But they found more money in the bashers and guys just wanting to go have fun. If there's a hill there, let's go hit it, you know. Um, I know I've mentioned Traxxas a lot in here. There's a lot of other companies out there I would love to see this stuff from. But uh, I would also like to see one more thing from Traxxas. I would like for them to answer and equal the Rift. I really like the Rift platform. I really do. I like the SCX platform. The TRX4 platform, although it is bulletproof just about, it's ancient at this point. So I'd like to see something else from Traxxas, a whole new crawler. And I'm going to wrap this video slash wish list dream list video up with a project that I got. Uh, met up with Steady Spin, went to Alpharetta, Georgia. There was a park. Uh, we drove the SCX6s around, had a great time. Berm Peaks had this one right here, had this shirt. 
I don't know if they heard me talking about it. I wanted it. I wanted it. I wanted it. But uh, Seth and Kevin, they got me this. This is a project vehicle. Um, Seth was not easy with it. He drove the wheels off of it, like literally. So I've got with a guy in Russia, the guy that actually makes these. So I've got some parts on the way. I'm also working with him to get an entire brand new body with exo caged on it. So I'm working on that. So this is going to be one of those projects that should go just off the chains. I can't wait to get started on this. Uh, I do want to get a few of the parts in before I actually legit get started and dig it in. But I may go ahead and make a video, the first initial teardown look, and see what's under the body of this thing. So guys, we're going to finish this up. And I want to mention a little bit about, you know, how important it is um, when you find a channel, whether it's mine or not, whether it's mine, Burn Peaks, Steady Spin, awesome dude, man, just awesome guy. Um, you find a channel that you really want. And I know a lot of people don't do this. If they're showing you a product, there might be a link down there, and that might be a, a, an affiliate link. That really helps out the, the creators. Um, I work a full-time job with when I work the overtime schedule and all that, it could be 60 to 70 hours a week, including the drive time back and forth. You know, a lot of times it's dark to dark. So when I get home, I immediately jump right into the my guest room right here, which is my shop, and start start putting things together, start getting the installs done and all that. So um like I said, it really helps out the channel if you guys use the affiliate links. And I'm talking every channel out there. Every channel out there. If you like the channel, if you like the, if you like what you're seeing, check that description. If you see a bit.ly link, it's an affiliate. At least click the link to go look at it. Nobody makes money off of clicks, but you know what? If you happen to purchase it, bang, um, helps out. But anyway, guys, going to go ahead and end this one now. Guys, it's been an awesome 2021, and as 2022 kicks off, we've got firecrackers going in the back. It's getting close to midnight, so it's probably going to light up around here. Just phenomenal. You can hear these guys getting everything ramped up. They've been going for hours. So, uh, guys, hopefully you guys have a great new year. I hope 2022 treats you well. I hope you guys stay healthy. Um, don't go around rubbing on door handles at stores. Don't you know, just kind of, uh, kind of, you know, stand back a little bit. It makes a difference. So you guys check that description. I'll put affiliate links down there to something. Make sure you check that out. So guys check that description, use those links. I hope you have a great 2022, 2022. Hope it's the best year of your life. Guys, thank you all for watching. Hey guys, if you're still watching and you're hearing this message, you are absolutely awesome. I want to tell you guys, you are the cream of the crop. Um, also, if you're listening this far, well, you know, if you want to help directly support ExoCaged RC, got the channel memberships, $2, $5, $10, and $25. You get early viewing, and sometimes I get to put up a little extra footage for you guys. So guys, check that description, and thank you so much.